So SRS Labs started with just one technology, SRS. What benefit did that technology offer? Well, before SRS, um, you were pretty much limited to stereo, which is a two-channel reproduction system, two speakers, and all the information that the microphones picked up, which microphones are a lot different than ears. They pick up everything. Ears are very discriminating in terms of uh, spatial localization, in terms of frequency response. Microphones pick up everything and crammed all that information, the direct information and the ambient information, all the information into two channels, into two speakers. What SRS did is extract, the reason they called it SRS is sound retrieval system. It retrieves information in the original stereo recording, extracts that information, the ambient information, uses correction filters based on the way the hearing system works to render the ambient information outside the uh, the range of the speakers. With stereo, the stereo field is limited to the width of the speakers. And in order to get any stereo effect, you have to sit right between the speakers. With SRS, the stereo field was spread beyond the speakers to about 180 degrees, and it eliminated the sweet spot. You could hear the SRS effect anywhere that you walked in the room. So what it did was take reproduced stereo audio and bring it a lot closer to what you would experience in a live performance.